sharing video on here with you guys has been a beautiful journey for me because last year a lot of things i couldn't sew this year i can sew them so i can sincerely tell you right now that the future of my wardrobe is looking so bright <laughs> please go ahead and like this video if you feel the same and thank you for joining me if you're seeing this channel for the first time do not forget to click on the subscribe button and on this video i just want to share with you guys the process i use in drafting out the pattern for this beautiful notch collar dress and this is a beginner friendly project see me stress it because it's actually a beginner friendly project and yes let me show you guys the body measurements i worked with so these are the measurements the vertical measurements and the horizontal measurements and let's go ahead and start drafting now on my cutting table, I have my brown paper here. The first thing I will do is mark 7 inches in. And these 7 inches, I will use this as the allowance for my overlap and for the lapel. So what I'm doing now is just indicate 7 inches out of the pattern. And we're going to be using that later to create the lapel and create the overlap for this dress. Now the next thing I will do is show you guys the length I'm working with because I want this short, I want the dress short, so I'm just going to work with 36 inches. So go ahead and indicate the length you want your notch collar dress to be. For me, it is 36 inches. This is my length. So let's go ahead and mark the vertical measurements. The first always obviously is the shoulder go ahead and divide your shoulder by two and mark this down on the top of your pattern make sure you place your tape after the line we have indicated out for our lapel and for the overlap so you're, you're going in from here to here okay now go ahead and drop your shoulder measurements by one drop it down so go down like this by one this is for your shoulder slope and now connect the slope to the neckline and the beginners when i say the neckline i mean this black line here because we have indicated the seven inches apart we are assuming that the center line this black line is the center front of our pattern now the next thing i'm going to do is divide my round armhole by two and mark this down from my slope so go ahead and divide your own round armhole by two so before I connect, I'm just going to confirm if I have the width of my shoulder measurement. So on my shoulder, I mark 7.5 and I'm just going to make sure it's the same. And now I can connect with a straight line and now root and horizontal line. And this is where our armhole curve will be sitting. So we are done with the armhole for now. We'll come back to it. The next thing we're going to do now is mark our boss point and you're going to place the tape from the top of your pattern and go down by whatever your boss point whatever number it is mark that down from your shoulder not from your slope okay from the top of your pattern where your shoulder is sitting so this is my boss point the next is my waist point i'll place my tape on the top of my pattern where the shoulder is sitting i'll go down mark my waist points so the measurements you need are on the screen so go ahead and look at what i'm taking on my body on the screen and mark that down the next point is the hip point so you can place the tape from the top of the pattern and go down and mark your hip point or you can place the tape from the waist and mark your hip point but make sure you indicate your hip point whichever way you can and you already know we have the length. So these are the vertical measurements we're going to be working with. We're done. Now let's move into the next phase. And that is going to be creating the neckline. So the neckline, the neck width I'll be using for this pattern is 3.5. For my notch collar dress, I'll be using 3.5 as the width. So 3.5 is what I marked. Now the neck depth I'll be using is 3.5. So I'll go down by 
for my depth and this is the front piece like oh this is the front pattern i keep calling it piece but you guys get that is the pattern right so this is the front pattern so we're using 3.5 as a neck depth if you don't have a curve ruler no problem use the dot method but make sure you have a curve just like my hair okay so let's go ahead and create the front armhole we are back to the armhole guys what I will do first is divide my round bust, my round breast. I'll divide that by four and mark that down on my armhole line. So you see my armhole line. You can see it's written there. I'm marking my round bust divided by four. Now I'm just going to go ahead and find the middle point on my armhole like this. I'll divide this by two to get the middle point. I'll indicate that. And now from the middle point, I'll go in by half an inch. Remember that the front, you always go in by half an inch for my size. But if you're bigger than me, you can go in by 0 0.75. Okay. And now we're just going to create a curve. This is going to create the armhole curve. We'll connect like this and then we'll go to the slope tool with a curve. And we are done with the armhole. Now we're going to be creating a waist dart for this dress. And to do that, divide your nipple to nipple by two. So see me here showing you my nipple to nipple. Take the measurements, divide yours by two and mark that down. From the center front in, remember that the black line here demarcating the 7 inches allowance is our center front. So go ahead and mark that nipple to nipple in from there, from your waist to your bust to your hip to your length, okay? Indicate the line just as I did here. This is our apex line. Now I'm just going to trim this off so that, like I feel like it's taking a lot of space. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to take this part off. Now that we have our apex line on the boss apex line, I'll go down by one inch and we're creating the dart, guys. So if you made it to this point, you're on the dart level. <laughs> on the waist, I'm just going to mark one inch on each side of the apex line. So see me go like this and like this one inch. So mark one inch here on the waist. This is happening on the waist. Mark one inch here. And now we're just going to connect this one one inch to the one inch down from the bust. So see me go like this. So now on the hip, I'm just going to go up by two inches. See me place my tape from the hip going up by two inches. And I'll connect this again from the one one inch on the waist. I'll connect this to that um, point here. So let's go ahead and divide our round measurements by four. I love to do this part. Um, now the first we're going to do is the bust. We'll go ahead and divide the round bust by four. See where you're placing your, your tape. You place your tape from the black line. That's for me, it's a black line. I'm placing my tape here and I'm going in by my round bust divided by four. Now I have the points. I'll connect that to the armhole and then we'll move to the waist. Divide your round waist by four. See the measurement on the screen and see what I'm doing on my pattern. I'm making sure I'm placing my tape on the black line. Please do that, okay? And now make sure you replace your darts. Whenever you take that on your pattern or your uh, fabric, in, replace it. So I replaced my darts and I'll connect that to the boss line. And then we'll move to the hip. We'll divide our round hip by four. After you mark vertical measurements, you now take horizontal measurement of those points. So that's what we're doing. And now connect the hip to the waist because the hip does not have any dart, so there's nothing to replace. Move down to my length. What I have on my hip, I'll be marking that on my length because my dress is short. So where it is stopping is almost the same with hip. So yeah. I'm just going to connect the hip to the length and we're done with this part. We'll move to the next stage. So next, we're going to be creating the armhole that, okay? And this is how we're going to be achieving this. On this curve here, I'm just going to place my tape and calculate what I have here. I'm just going to measure what I have and I got 9 inches. See me go through all the curve, right? I'll go ahead and divide that number by 2 and this is going to help me indicate the middle point. So the middle point is going to be 4.5. I'll place my tape and mark 4.5. I'm just going to connect these points to the bust line. And you guys, you already know we have the apex line on the bust. So I'm just connecting it to the apex line on the bust. Okay. 
So once we are done with that, the next thing for us to do is go to the bust line, come up by one inch on that line we just indicated. Come up by one inch. And now we can mark half an inch on each side of the middle line on the armhole. Mark half inch here and mark half inch here. So this is just going to help us create the dart that we are going to be working with on this notch color dress. So half an inch here, half an inch here. Now let's go ahead and connect the half an inch to the one inch. Connect here, connect here. So using my cover ruler, I'll be doing this. So after connecting the top one, I'll connect the down one, the down half an inch, which is this one. Now on this one here, I'm just going to extend it a little bit by one inch. You know why? The extension we just did here, I extended it out by one inch because we mark half inch here and half inch here and both makes it one inch. So I'm just going to place my tape and make sure I'm getting one inch extension, one inch. And now on the armhole here, I'm going to replace that back. I will be marking one inch or so. I'm replacing the dart. So when you take your dart, you always replace, right? That is what we always do. So now I'm just going to create a new armhole curve connecting the one inch here and the one inch extension. And you guys, that is done. So I'll just go ahead and adjust. You have the option of adjusting. So don't always think that... You can't adjust. You can't, baby girl. Adjust. Make your line sharp. Make it clearer if you have to. Now, I'm just going to be adding one inch allowance on the bust, on the waist, on the hip. I'll connect, connect, and then this is my one inch allowance. Never forget to add your allowance, okay? So I'm just going to write here that this is one inch extension and this is one inch added here. So please do not forget that this is the process we took. Make sure you follow all the steps correctly, okay? So you don't make a wrong move. You don't make a wrong outfit or you don't get it wrong. Please make sure you follow, okay? Now I'm just cutting out this part because I need the extra pattern to create my color. So when you are running out of pattern, please do know you have this option of doing this. Get your tape, get your gum and just glue it together, okay? And that is what I'm doing. And this is just going to be enough for my color. So yeah, I have to do this. Now we're going to be creating the overlap and the break points for this dress. For my overlap, I'll go to the waistline, I'll mark 6 inches out, and this is going to be for my break point. I am marking 6 inches out. I'll extend the line from the waist out to the 6 inches. So 6 inches out here. Now I'm just going to connect the 6 inches to the neckline, to the neck width, but before then, I'll mark in quarter inch on the neck width i'm just going to go in by quarter inch i'm using the blue marker different from the green on the neckline so you know it's different now i can connect my six inches break points so please look at what i'm doing carefully okay now i'm just going to connect this down to the length so the overlap i'm using for my dress is six inches if you don't want yours to overlap like that you can use four or smaller ball I want my to overlap a little bit and I'm using 6 inches. So this is my overlap for the dress. And now let's work on the collar. Please don't overthink it. Creating a collar is actually very easy if you pay attention. So to do this, make sure you have your back pattern drafted out first. Because we have to place our tape on the neckline of the back pattern. And I got 3.5. So find out what you have on your back pattern, the neckline. And now that is going to be the extension we are going to use for our collar. So you place your tape on the neck width of the front and extend it by your back neck measurements. So I'll connect it and we have our extension here. Now I'm just going to take this in by that quarter an inch. I just want my collar to sit properly. That is why I'm taking all this in quarter inch in, okay? So I'm taking in 0 0.25 in from the back neck measurement. And I'll connect this back to the neck width. So I'm just going to connect it back to the neck width. So this is the point 0 0.25. I'm connecting it back to the neck width. And this is just going to make my collar sit properly with no stress. So I'm just going to cancel this line. This is no longer in use. This is the new line. 
So determine how wide you want your collar to be and that is the next thing you should be marking here. For me, I'm using 5 inches as my collar width. So I'm just going to extend this point by 5 inches like this. And you guys notice that my tape is not straight. I am placing this on an angle. So see the angle, right? Are you seeing the angle? So this is how you should place your tape and mark your collar width. And just connect the line. So when I connect, you see the, what I'm talking about clearly. So now we are going to create the lapel and to do this, I'm just going to extend my neck depth by 4 inches. So for my lapel, that is how wide I want it to be. So if you don't want your lapel to be this wide, you can see it on my picture how it looks. If you don't want yours to be that wide, you can do 3 inches. But for me, I'll be using 4 inches. I'm going to connect it back to the neck depth and this is for my lapel. So we're going to connect the lapel to the break point. And you can do whatever shape you want. You just go ahead and create whatever you want here. So see how my lapel is looking, right? So this part is done. And let's go ahead and create the notch. So see me laboring everything for you to know that this is all the steps we are taking, right? Now let's create the notch. To create my notch on my lapel, I'm just going to go in by 1.5 inch. And from this 1.5 inch, I'll place my tape on an angle and mark another 1.5 inch. So see me creating a small angle, right? I'm just going to connect it with the line so you guys see the angle I'm talking about. So I just did this on an angle and you can see how tiny the angle is, right? Now this is 1.5 and I'm just going to connect my notch to my collar. At this point, baby girl, if you don't want your collar to sit the way my is sitting, you can just go ahead and do what you want. But this is how I wanted my collar to look. So I'm using the curve for this. You can use a straight ruler. You can bend the, your curve ruler the other way to go ahead and achieve whatever color you want to achieve but this is how i want mine to be and you guys we are done with the front pattern so i'm just going to use my blue marker to indicate my color for you guys to see and then the next step is to cut so i'm just going to cut out this part first and then i'll go back and write that this is the color so in case you are so confused this is your color and you're going to be cutting that out separately. So I'll cut here and then I'll go in for my lapel. I'll cut out my color. See me cutting out my color from the notch. Okay, this is your color. And this is how my color is looking. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cut out from the shoulder. Then I'm just going to cut now from the apex line. So remember to cut out this that. Remember we took that on the waist and on the arm. We're going to be cutting that out. Please pay good attention to this part because I want you guys to see how my pattern is looking. So you know how yours should look. So cut out the dart from this part. The dart is going. And also the arm hole dart is going to. Please do not forget to cut out your dart. Please cut it out. And remember we're cutting out from the extension. The one inch extension here. And then we're going into this place. And this is my front pattern. So this is how your front pattern should be looking, you guys, okay? Drafting out the back pattern. So like I said, you have to draft out the back first before you draft out the front. So on my pattern here, I have the slope indicated. I have the armhole indicated. I have my bust point indicated. I have my waist point indicated. I have my hip point and the length. So make sure you have these points. And we're just going to dive into creating the neckline. So for the neckline, we're going to be working with 3.5 inch as the width. So I'll go ahead and place my tape here and mark 3.5 inch. And for the depth, my neck depth, I'll be marking 1 inch down. I'm working with 1 inch. This is the back pattern, okay? I'll go in with my curve ruler and connect both points together. And this is my back neckline. 
So to create the armhole, we're going to divide our round bust by 4 and mark that down on the armhole line. Remember we did this on the front pattern, right? So we're just doing the same thing. It is almost the same way, just that the back armhole is different. But yeah, almost every other thing is the same. Now we're going to find out the middle points on the armhole like this, just as we did on the front. So we'll decay the middle points. And then you use your curve ruler to connect from the middle points to the points we indicated down like this. So you see the difference between the front armhole and the back, right? Now we're going to be marking the dots lines and to do this, we'll have to divide the nipple to nipple by two. So divide your nipple to nipple by two and mark this down on the bust line, on the waistline, on the hip line, on the length. So we did the same step on the front pattern. We marked our nipple to nipple. Okay, so remember that that is the same thing we're doing. Indicate with the line. And now on the waist, we're going to be marking 0.5 inch on each side of the apex line on the waist. So we're marking our waist that. So half an inch here. Half an inch here. What we're going to do now, I'm going to extend my armhole line in. So I'll extend the line in, the armhole. And now what I'll do is I'll connect my apex points to go up to the armhole. I'm just taking the four inches up. And now for my armhole, um, the line I have on my armhole, I'm just going to come down by half an inch. I'm marking half an inch down. This is us marking the back that. And I'll connect the half an inch on the waist to this point. Now on the front, we did one one inch, but on the back pattern, we're doing half an half, half inch. Okay. Everything we're doing here is half half inch. I'll move over to my hip point. I'll mark two inches upwards. And now I'll connect the half inch on the waist. The half half inch on the waist. I'll connect it to this point here. So if you pay attention, it's just like we're repeating what we've done before. Okay. So this is the dart line. And now I'm just going to go ahead and divide our round measurements. And we're going to start off with the bust. I'll divide my round bust by four. And I'll mark this down on the bust line. Like I said, this is us repeating almost the same thing we did on the front pattern. Now the bust here has a dart. So we have to replace the dart. When you take your dart, replace. So I'm replacing my dart. I'll connect this line to the armhole straight up. On the front, we do not have a bust dart. But on this pattern, we have a bust dart. That's what we're replacing. So you move over to your round waist, divide your round waist by four, mark that down on your waistline and replace your dart. So my dart here is one inch. I'm just going to replace, see, one inch. I'll replace that back. And then I'll connect this to the bust line. We'll do the same thing on the hip, divide our round hip by four. And on the hip, there is no dart, so there is nothing to replace. I'll connect it. And now what I have on my hip, I'll be marking that on the length. So remember, we did that on the front pattern. The same measurements I marked on my hip, I'm marking on my length. And now I'll connect that. add the one inch allowance i'm just going to add one inch allowance and we did that on the front pattern so we did almost the same thing so this is my allowance here and now i'll look for the middle point of the curve here on my armhole curve i'll look for the middle point i have nine inches i'll divide that by two I'll mark the middle point, 
I'll use my curve ruler to connect this point here. I'll connect that to the midpoint. And we're not marking any dots, guys. So I'm just going to connect, but I'll make sure I have like half an inch extension. Half or quarter an inch extension just so when we're sewing, we don't um, run out of fabric. So I'll just make a little bit of extension here and connect that again back to the this point. I'm just going to connect with the curve. Just creating a new armhole. And that is that for the back pattern. So yeah, um, another thing I want to do, this is optional. I There is a certain way I want the back to look. So on the waist, I'm marking in half an inch. And I'm just going to connect that to the bust line back like this. And I'll connect that to the hip. This is actually optional. If you don't want it to, if you want yours to look square-ish, you don't need to do this. But this is just going to give the back a little bit of shape. So that's why I'm doing this. So now this is my back, uh, my center back, and this is my side back. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. And now I'm just going to cut out from the darts to separate the two patterns. I'll cut this from the allowance so you see how the side back is looking. And please do not forget to cut out your dart on the waist, okay? Do that. And you guys, this is how the pattern was created. The sewing version is going to come up soon. So go ahead and create your pattern and anticipate the sewing version. Do not forget to like this video. If you've learned something new today, go ahead and like the video. Thank you guys for watching. You know I always love you, right? And I appreciate all the engagement I get on this channel. So thank you guys. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.